hi all so now we are going to start our project so the project is basically a online training uh, portal so the architecture of this project is basically divided in three parts it, it's basically based on so architecture so what is so architecture so architecture it is service oriented architecture so service oriented architecture we are dividing in three three parts first layer which is your front end layer middleware middle middleware we are using django and python and database we have chosen postgresql so 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 the uh, the motto of this project uh, a user can see uh, the uh, videos online or they can watch online uh, videos of any of uh, any of the uh, 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 subjects uh, he, which he, uh, he has been uh, selected and uh, and uh, re, uh, relatively videos been uploaded by uh, admin uh, and through uh, the apis we are accessing all those data so uh, we are using a rest framework of django front end we are using angular 7 okay so in this video we are going to describe of the architecture uh, the project architecture of both the section front end as well as back end so let's get started so first we will work off with the front end architecture so we have following components first component we have user component or you can say it's login so login component is basically displaying your uh, the user interface for for login and in the same page if we click on registration link it will be moving to registration component next section is your home where you are all the videos is getting displayed by user and next one is your codes details component in course details component you can see are the videos of the particular section which has been chosen by user so let's see this is the basic uh, uh, project i have created so now see i have created the component course home and there is one more component required <coughs> g g c login so in this login section we need to create uh, the user interface to for login take few seconds so till that time you can see the backend architecture yeah so we are creating a backend architecture in django so first step we need to create a web application in django okay so as you know already uh, uh, django has certain files which is a configuration files like setting.py which is responsible to all, all the configuration of your project now see we have chosen the database is postgres sql 
and the database name is Drona Online. So we I have given this Drona Online because it's a Drona Chari, uh, which we teaching online. That's uh, given this the database name on Drona Online, and uh, the username is Postgres, and uh, password is Postgres, which is my local database, and host is local local. Host. So now uh, port five four three two is the by default database of your uh, Postgres. Okay, so allowed host. So next next important section is allowed host. So see first one is the path of your hosted. So now I am going to host this web application in Heroku. So Heroku is what is Heroku? Heroku is a cloud. So I am going to host everything a web application on front end application in in your uh, Heroku. So that's why this the site named Rona Online Admin Heroku dot com. And second one is uh, if I want to check my uh, locally, so that's why it's a local hosted address. Okay. So this this is the basic configuration. Now in URL.py, which is responsible to giving you URL. So by default, admin is the URL which uh, Django provides. Uh, after that, we require the course detail. That's why it's courses. Register user is the basically uh, whenever you want to register the user. So this will be the API uh, when you want to add user. <coughs> and next one is home. And in uh, future we want to create more one more API that's login, uh, login API which is uh, generating authentication token. Then only you can access the courses and other APIs. So this is about uh, urls.py and views.py we are going to write all the APIs like course, get course details, uh, login, okay. So that's about uh, the uh, backend uh, uh, architecture and we are going to uh, add everything in this project only. So let's go back to your login section. Yeah. So now login component has been created. So you can start writing uh, code here in login component.html. So, so whenever you are uh, executing your uh, uh, project or if you are running your website, the first page should come its login one. Okay. So, so let's start writing forms here. and form in form section again create a div where you want to add username label class so we are we here we are uh, going to add uh, bootstrap same here class bootstrap classes so bootstrap classes form group Where here we need to add another controller form control
and add for password. Enter password. <clears throat> Add a button here. Submit. Now we are ready with a uh, form, only we need to add the, the bootstrap classes here. So let's make uh, this login component.html as a root component. So before that, I need to add app routing.module.ts file. Okay, so it's not here, so we need to create that routing file. Okay. So let's run uh, and check this is working properly or not. So add this app login. Part in your app.component.html. So let's comment it out all those things and add app login let's run this Sometimes to till the time you can again utilize with the backend code. So, which I have shown to you uh, as a database, we are going to use PostgreSQL. Okay. So first you guys need to install Postgres and SQL. So first go to Google and download Postgres SQL. Download yeah. so you can download the Postgres SQL from here. So if whatever the OS you have now, I have Mac OS, so I will be choosing Mac OS and I will be choosing from here the downloadable version. So I have already downloaded, so that's why I am not installing it. So after installation of PostgreSQL, I should directly click here SQL, PLSQL. And I will get that SQL in a moment.
yeah this is the way uh, so i have logged in already so i'll close it so i'll show that how it's postgres sql is uh, log how to log in with the postgres sql so sql <coughs> yeah so by default it's local host and database name so our database name is Our database name is so copy this one and go to and paste it here and port we are using 5432 so 5432 is correct username username is postgres postgres and password is also postgres post gris so now i have logged in with the system so that this is the login screen so this is the setup has been done of your uh, uh, backend database so now we have done with the setup of front end back end and middleware everything is done so from next video we are going to uh, start with our front end uh configuration login uh login component uh, we are adding the more styling on the login uh, component part so let's first just execute and uh, see uh, your local hosted login is getting displayed or not then in for next video we'll start not started yet so it's take time so the so let's for wait for few few second i think it's, it's going to start yeah i think it's running yeah so we are uh, just discussing about the postgres sql so we have settled down with the environment with postgres sql and uh, front end architecture so let's uh, come back to uh, next video and again uh, we'll see how, uh, how to proceed with your component architecture and uh, how to proceed with your or middleware and how to create apis for your project thanks for watching and we'll see in next video uh, bye